All right, so I'm gonna start on these uh, boat fenders. Um, I got the one uh, one fender's already bent. If you watched the last video, <clears throat> the uh, I got this one all laid out. The last one I cut out with um, cutoff wheels on the grinder. It just took forever, and I burnt through all my cutoff wheels. Had to go to Harbor Freight yesterday to get more cutoff wheels. So instead. I bought a metal cutting blade for the circular saw and we're going to see how that goes. Like I said, I got this one all laid out, ready to cut. Got my bed lines in there too. Nuts. And we'll see how this blade goes. Actually surprising. It went pretty well. Although the one that got on my lip fucking hurt. Very little burr. So now I will. Uh, I'll get the press ready and set up for uh, bending knees and then uh, I'll bring it back. Alright, so I got it set up and ready for the first bend. Now bending these are 45. We're just getting as close as I can. One on the original one I did, the first one, I bent it too much. So let's bend this one up. <clears throat> Now it looks like a cobbled mess here. Yesterday when I did this, I didn't have a flat piece here, so I was trying to balance everything. It was a pain in the ass. So before I put this in here, I tacked a flat piece of steel on top of the brake here. Um, now this is just sitting here. I should have tacked it, but it shouldn't go nowhere. So. I use a pry bar just to keep the weight because I don't have the right springs in there just to keep the weight on it so I can slide it through maybe maybe not <clears throat> maybe a little bit more there we go now I'll slide it farther through I'll go on the other side check my angle move all this crap out of my way far so I'll have to straighten that back a little bit so we'll just go ahead and do the next one and I'll try to straighten them later get my line lined up
that's damn near close. Good enough. Just a hair over. That'll work. you were wondering now this is probably a little heavy but it's eighth inch plate I should never have to worry about fenders my brother-in-law says a little heavy but once I get the big four done I ain't worried about it it'll pull it the F-150 will pull it too not like I'm adding tons and tons of weight. Check that one. Sheba. That don't look right. <clears throat> oh, that shit fell out of the burn barrel. So, I messed up somewhere, somehow. <clears throat> or it just might be the way it is. I'll get it all fixed later. Uh, I'm going to cut some strips. Because I'm not going to leave them like that. I'm going to cut some strips for a lip on the outside. And then hopefully, I doubt it, I'm going to have some sheet left somewhere else. 
close the back side in. So let me cut some strips and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I'm out here working on these fenders again. Uh, it's about a week later. <clears throat> really can't do much after work because of the time change. I don't have much daylight. <clears throat> but one fender is together. Done. <laughs> I uh, finished it last night, yesterday. Um, other than cleaning it up, it's got to be sandblasted, but I'll just do that with a trailer. And I cut one of the old fenders off just to see what it looks like. So, I'm gonna, it's going to get a little shaky. I'm going to take you over here for a second. Um, it's just clamped on there. I got it to mark it where it goes on the trailer and then uh, clean it up so I can weld it. But, and measure it so it's even. I think I got it pretty close. But I like it. Pretty stout. I shouldn't have to worry about fenders. So, and this. But that's what that one looks like. This is uh, original. I, I like the new, the, the ones I made better. So, and it'll look a whole lot better once it's all cleaned up. Now I got some work to do where these little, whatever they are, brackets come out off the frame. They got the guide bunks that attach to them. Um, I got some four inch three sixteenths I might bend up and make just two new ones. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do inside on the original trailer. They had pieces of wood on there that were carpeted for some reason. And on the back side of the fenders, they had pieces of wood there that was carpeted. I'm not gonna do all that. The only thing I'm putting wood on this trailer is the bunks. Because I wanted to convert it to a full roller trailer, but I can't afford that. So I'm going to be replacing the bunks, put new carpet on them, rollers. Anyway, that'll, that'll be in future videos. So, back to the fenders. Started this morning um, on the fenders. I'm going to try to put you somewhere where... You're not in the way. I guess over here would be good. Started this morning on new fenders. Um, I made one, I guess you can call it a skirt, uh, lip. I already made one, welded it together, cleaned it up. This one is ready to go on the fender. So, I, I didn't video that. I figured you guys see enough welding and crap but the rest of it I probably will do a time lapse I'll weld that one together and start putting it on the fender it's got a lot of cleanup after that so we'll start on the time lapse So I guess I'm having issues with my GoPro. Lost all the footage of uh, putting the skirts, whatever, the sides of the fenders on. Now it's not done. I got to do a lot of cleanup. But <clears throat> finished tacking this bottom one on, weld it out in the bottom, and then I can, I don't weld the whole thing underneath. But I will weld all of it around the top and then clean it off with a grinder, make it smooth like the other one. We'll try this again. I can already see it's screwing up. It's freezing up, records, when it quits. We'll see. The video might turn out like shit. Shut off on me again.
bottom's all welded out. Now I'll flip it over and weld the whole thing. So I can get a nice smooth transition. Kind of rounded the corners a little bit. Blend it all in. That's what I did to the other one. So, just finished this fender, just ground it up, got it all cleaned up, went over it with a wire wheel, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but got the bottom corners all in, or kind of like a little roll around there, so they're not a sharp corner, but <clears throat> this one's done now. And now I can put them on the trailer. I'm not going to show them putting them on the trailer straightforward, you know, obviously. Cut the old ones off, get this to fit, and weld them on. Alright, this is where I'm going to end this video for the boat fenders, <coughs> or boat trailer fenders. So, they're on there. They're welded on. They're very stout. Actually, I could sit on them. So, um,. I kind of changed my mind about these brackets back here. I'm just going to um, box this in. and probably not going to have nothing going from there to the fenders. So that's got enough support. And then on the front, for the other boat guide bunk, um, I'm going to cut that other the piece with the holes in it, weld it in there, Neither gusset it or I will make another piece just on the front of the fenders there. So, like I said, this is going to be the end of the fender video. Next one is I got to fight to get these rollers off, measure where the bottom bunks go, take them off, sandblast this whole thing. Actually, I'm going to take the tongue jack off, take the the, the bow support off there's a broken bolt in there I want to get out and the jack <clears throat> and probably the chains sandblast the whole thing um, I took the lights off too anyway sandblast the whole thing once I get all the welding done on it and uh, primer it get the fenders cleaned up as best I can and then uh, paint it and I gotta get the brakes working. The brakes haven't worked since I've owned this boat. So I think I think it's got leaky wheel cylinders or any something. Anyway, I'm gonna go through all the bearings, check them, repack them, replace them if I have to. Uh, I gotta get new tires. So quite a bit of work to do still on it. Hopefully it goes pretty quick now. Um, like I said, get the rest of the fabrication done on it. Get it all sandblasted and primer it. At least get some, you know, cut a couple coats of primer on it. And then I can paint it. Uh, I'm going to paint it red. Same thing. Um, I don't know what color red. It's not going to be obviously the same color. So. But, alright, for the fender video, uh, that's where I, this is actually the end. So, until next time. See ya.